Hi there! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an interactive Articulate Storyline quiz using 3D models. Alright, let's do this. We've all seen the quizzes that look like this. Okay, so I tried to make this slide look as boring as possible so my example looks cooler. So here's my example. Instead of text, I included 3D bear models. On the bottom, you can see the quiz question. Notice how when you hover over the bears, the sign moves. That's to visually communicate that the bears are clickable. And when you select a bear, the 3D bear animates da, 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 to show the results. This was super easy to create. No coding, no JavaScript, just some basic steps using PowerPoint and Storyline. So let's first jump into PowerPoint. All right, here we are in PowerPoint. The very first thing I like to do is set my slide size to the same size as my storyline slide size. Next, I insert my background image and my 3D models. Microsoft actually has an entire library of 3D models that you can use in your own projects. Since I have my own, I'm going to go ahead and insert my own 3D models, the grizzly and the black bear. Once I have the models in, I can reposition them to how I have it in my storyboard. I can do that manually or by using the Format tab. They have default positions there. Once I have that first slide set, I duplicate the slide and then I reposition those models as well. On the second slide only, under the Transitions tab, I click Morph and that will make it so that there's that seamless transition. I personally like to save an image of that second slide for later to help me align some of the images and text, so you'll, you'll see that. After that, I export the video, choosing the, the size and making sure you put the second spent on each slide to zero. And then you can use the MP4 or the WMV, either one works, to save as a video. And that's it. Now let's go take a look at how I use this animation in my Storyline project. Here I am in Articulate Storyline. The first thing I'm going to do is insert the video I saved earlier. On top of that video, I'm going to add my question text. After that, I add any other visual factors to make it interesting. I'm going to add my two wood signs for each bear. Each of these signs has a hover state. I then add a box over each bear, and I change the transparency to 100%. The reason I use this box is because I'm going to now group each transparent box with the sign so that when the user hovers over any part of the bear, it also shows the sign's hover state. Next, I add triggers. The first trigger is to pause the video when the timeline starts. I went ahead and added all the other triggers for the grizzly group and the black bear group from the group that I created earlier. When the user clicks the grizzly group, it will show the answer layer, play the video, and play the correct audio file. When the user clicks on the black bear group, it will also show the answer layer, play the video, and play the incorrect audio file. On the answer layer, I add my feedback text and customize the wood signs to communicate a correct or incorrect answer. Since I want to add animated text and white lines for each bear, I use the image I saved earlier to help align that correctly, and I remove the image when I'm done. And that's all there is to it. When I preview the example, it works seamlessly. You can even add more questions by following the same steps. If you want to practice creating your own 3D experience, I've included a free 3D PowerPoint resource link below in the description. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, click subscribe.